Hello friends, it's a Wednesday coffee and a chat, but I'm actually recording this on Sunday after watching Track Fans TV's Sunday Slot Car Sessions stream because a few people in the chat were having a few problems with the new Revo slots. And some people were saying, a Revo slot need to sort out their product, it's not right, it's... Uh, I'm sorry, but I... There's no easy way of saying this. I think you're doing it wrong drink okay that was a bit harsh but I think what you're doing is you're applying all of the rules you understand about the slot cars you understand to a different system now so this is a slotted car and as I've seen Dave Kennedy say many many times when you buy a slotted car you're buying into a system you're buying into a system of parts you're buying into a system of how you adjust the car and how you set it up and how you drive the car and and that's fine this system works with a pod and then you've got two body screws one front and back and they even provide you with smooth chanked screws to use so that you can produce as much body flow as possible because this system works on the basis that you want the whole body to float on the chassis and people buy these cars and they buy into this system and they buy the tuning parts and they change parts up and adjust put in grub screws and do so on uh, to adjust axle heights and so on and that's great but i think what you're doing because this principle works for these it works for the sideways cars and it works for the NSR, uh, NSR cars as well to a certain extent but if you apply this principle or these principles to these cars you're going to have a problem because the first thing you're going to do is you're going to get this car out of the box and you're going to apply the everything must float as much as possible principle to this car the problem with that is what you'll do is you'll adjust these screws out until everything is super sloppy and you think well that's great look at all of that and then you put it on the track and the rear tires rub on the arches now let me just accentuate this issue a little bit more so if i so you can see it on camera if I undo these a lot, you can really see what's going on. So, when you do this, and these are loose, the front of the car moves up and down a lot. So, it can move that much upwards, if I hold that there, and then when the back can't move because it's already jammed against the wheel arches. Now, this chassis works differently to this chassis. So this chassis works a bit like a scratch built brass rattle chassis idea for a car in that part of the chassis is very securely mounted to the body. Part of it isn't and there is a flexible join in between. So in order to just as a straightforward quick principle in order to stop the rear tires rubbing stop thinking about one of these cars tighten these two up just until they start to feel them bind doesn't need to be any more than that but they don't want to be loose in any way and then the front of the car will have a little bit of play not very much the back of the car you can adjust these off which will give you your sideways play and don't forget these posts are quite flexible as well and the tyres won't rub. And you can then back them off a little bit more, maybe get a bit more play at the front. This one, for example. I mean, lots of people had trouble with this car when it came out with the tyres rubbing at the back. But, I mean, this one, there's a little bit of movement at the front, not a lot. But again, back is nice and loose. And this car handles brilliantly like that. But if you want to go further, 
much as there is a system with this that you buy into, there's a system with this that you buy into. It's here. Everybody opens this, everybody looks at this and goes, wow, look, they list all the parts and you can get all the parts. If you look at the back, these are the optional parts, tires and spares. Now there are different tires, different compounds, sponge tires if you want them. And then there are these four brass nuts listed. And these are the four brass nuts that are inside this car. So these have different amounts of rattle. People are taking these things out and loosening them off and um, putting bits of paper between them and, and doing all sorts of things. Uh, and that's not the system. I, people I love dearly in slot car YouTube are doing these things and you really should read the manual. You, you can, the system is that you adjust the rattle between the front and the back using different brass nuts. If you then wanted to say, loosen this front off, because, oh, that one's too tight now. Because of the way the post system works in here, with these different colored rubber boots, these will adjust the spacing of the, the body against the chassis. So if you do want to raise the body up to run the front more loose, you can change different rubber covers. So my point is, and, and it's not your fault because Revo Slot make great cars, but they're really terrible at communication and they haven't explained their system to you, the consumer, which means I've got to stand here and do it, which I don't mind doing, but I really do think Revo Slot should get better at communication. Because if you understand their system, and it took me quite a lot of reading and, and watching things to even find out really how to make it work. If you understand their system, if they explain to you how it's different from most slot cars, then you'd get a lot more out of the cars and you wouldn't be complaining that Revo Slot need to change their cars. They don't. You need to change the way you think about setting them up because this isn't this. So, yeah. I think you might be doing it wrong. It's not your fault. It's Revo Slot's fault. And it's my fault for probably not going through this in more detail before. But if you get one of these new out of the box and you think the back tyres are rubbing a bit, tighten those two front screws up, loosen those ones off a little bit, you'll get a bit more float. And as an out of the box car, it will be as good as you can get. Good chat.